Hello everyone, in this video I'll be ranking all the game engines in 2023 to see which one's the best for you. I will rank them on ease of use, the quality of end product, and royalties. So let's get started. First up is Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine has amazing 3D graphics and has a lot of high-tech features. You should also check out Unreal 5, look at all the product demos for it, it's really cool. And then it also has no royalties up until 1 million. So that is great for indie gamers uh, but however it does have a steep learning curve and the games are pc demanding i'm not sure if it has a mobile or web export but also i'll mention they will be demanding too and also it uses c to code which is a not too not an easy language to learn if you're first learning programming next up is unity unity is easier to learn uh, in my opinion, it has capable graphics, especially with URP and HDRP, and it's very mobile and web friendly. So if you're making a mobile web game, this would be the go-to engine to do it. Uh, however, it does have a slow editor. An issue that I find is that with bigger projects, the loading time takes more than the time actually used to uh, edit the games. Those have royalties exceeding 100,000 and uses C Sharp to code. Next up is Godot. Godot is open sourced. It has a great 2D suite and it has built-in documentation. However, since the engine is quite new, it has a few tutorials and it has a very simple and limited 3D engine. Next up is Game Maker. Game Maker is beginner friendly and it has block coding. However, it is a very old game engine. Uh, and for the most part, it's a paid plan. So meaning if you want to export it out to desktop, you have to pay for it. And as far as I'm aware, it's only 3D, uh, sorry, 2D only. Okay, as a bonus, next up is Roblox. It's very beginner friendly, has a ton of free assets. There's a lot of great tutorials on YouTube uh, teaching you how to code in Lua. It's also online, so you don't have to host it yourself. It's already hosted for you. However, it is complete lock-in, meaning you can't export your game somewhere else. You can only have it in Roblox. And from what I heard, it's a toxic work environment. Also, Roblox takes a lot of royalties, so there is that to account for. Next up is CryEngine as a bonus as well. It, um, I haven't actually heard about this until I was researching for this video, but it has, from what I've seen, amazing graphics, uh, really good physics, and uses flow scripting, similar to Unreal. I'm not completely too sure, though. Uh, however, from the looks of it, it does have uh, a few tutorials and... I mean, from coming from the game that uh, the engine that made Crisis itself, it is pretty demanding, and it also takes royalties exceeding five thousand. All right, well, there's all the engines. Uh, let's compare. Let's compare for three D. Okay, for three D, I highly recommend either Unreal or Unity to start off with. Uh, Unreal has the best end product, in my opinion. It, the graphics are just amazing. However, um. It is a steep learning curve, so there is that to take into factor. Un uh, Unity has a really good uh, 3D asset as well with URP and U HDRP, uh, but also it uses C Sharp, which is similar to C++. Next up is 2D. For 2D, I recommend Godot. Godot uses a programming language called GDScript, which is similar to Python, and it is much easier to learn, uh, especially if you're beginning with programming. And it has a really good 2D suite, and it's the recommended thing for uh, 2D engines. Uh, Unity is next up. Uh, it is also pretty good for 2D, but again, there are some issues with the engine itself. I also uh, notably want to mention uh, GameMaker. I think GameMaker only supports 2D, and is actually quite good at it if you're a beginner. But again, it's a paid plan, so if you, unless you're willing to pay, I'm not sure if that's right for you. Next up is best for beginners. So Unity, I would say it's the best for beginners because it's a tutorial for every, literally everything. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't have a issue that hasn't been had by someone else before. It is great to work with because there's a lot of support and there's a lot of community. Next up is Roblox. Again, a lot of community is there as well. And a lot of great uh, coding tutorials. Game Maker has uh, a blocking code, which is great for people who are completely new to programming. Followed by Godot, which also has um, Python or GeneScript to code. Uh, Godot also supports other languages like Java and C++, so if you were into that, that is great as well. 
Unreal and CryEngine has pretty steep learning curves. So if you're a beginner, I would, um, unless, well, unless you're trying to spend a lot of time and try to get like a really good finished product, I would stay away from that and switch over from Unity or something like that. Next up is the best engines overall. So if you're willing to spend a lot of time on an engine and like you're only going for one engine, these will be my best uh, picks. So top pick is Unreal. Again, steep learning curve, but if you stick around with it, you develop for a couple years, the end results will pay off. Same thing with Godot, although quite limited in its uh, 2D form, sorry, the 3D form, the 2D form is great. You can have a lot of lighting effects, a lot of crazy graphics with it, and it's constantly improving, so that's good as well. Uh, Unity, again, really good for beginners, and Cryogen, from what I've seen, great physics. Uh, however, I would stay away from Roblox and GameMaker for the issues mentioned previously. Well, there you have it. That's almost all the game engines in 2023. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.